welcome students today we are going to start our new chapter from the chemistry section that is matter in our surroundings now the first question that arises in our mind is what is matter so students matter is anything which occupies space and has mass so air water hydrogen oxygen sugar sand iron ice oil kerosene carbon dioxide these are all different kinds of matter because all of them occupy space that is they have some volume and mass so the only conditions for something to be matter are that it should occupy space and have mass now uh, the things like uh, friendship love affection good manners thoughts smell uh, these do not occupy space they do not have mass so from the point of view of chemistry things like friendship love affection these are not considered matter although these things matter a lot in our everyday life but these are not considered matter because they do not occupy space they do not have mass so matter can be classified in a number of ways see students uh, our ancient indian philosophers said that uh, all the matter living or non living was made up of five basic elements uh, known as panch tatva that is air earth fire sky and water now the modern day scientists classify um, matter in two ways either on the basis of uh, its physical properties or uh, on the basis of uh, its chemical properties on the basis of physical properties matter is classified as solids liquids and gases and on the basis of chemical properties matter is classified into pure substances and impure substances then further it gets divided into pure substance gets divided into elements compounds and impure remains mixtures homogeneous and heterogeneous so in this chapter we will mainly study the classification of matter on the basis of its physical properties okay so now uh, what are the characteristics of matter what are the uh, what is matter made up of so students everything around us is made up of uh, tiny pieces or particles our body is made up of particles a uh, chair is made up of particles table is made up of particles in fact the book is also made up of particles and the number of particles and everything is however very very large if we take the small rain drop uh, that also contains about 10 raised to the power 21 particles of water so the particles which make up matter are so small that we cannot see them with a high power microscope so students the first thing about matter is that every matter is made up of particles and the particles of matter are very small are so small that we cannot see them even with a high power microscope and then the particles of matter have spaces between them it means there are spaces present between the particles of matter next uh, important characteristic of particles of matter is that the particles of matter are constant continuously moving they are constantly moving and uh, that evidence comes from the study of diffusion and brownian motion which we study further which we learn to uh, further and uh, last but not least that the particles of matter attract each other it means there are some forces of attraction between the particles of matter which bind them together so these are some of the important characteristics of particles of matter that is the matter is made up of particles um particles of matter are very very small particles of matter have spaces between them particles of matter are constantly moving uh, particles of matter attract each other